I legitimately thought that I had covered this fragrance already. Some kind of way I missed it. I covered Bonfire Nights. Oh my God, look at that juice. Every time I see it, Heartwood, Valhalla. I even covered their other fragrance, Honeyfields. Some kind of way I ended up missing over this one. I thought this was one of the first ones that I covered. Scarlet Gamble. This is their variation of Baccarat Rouge 540. As you can see, I've been using this one quite a bit. <laughs> I've sat with this one for quite some time. Let's give it a refresher here. Excellent atomizer. And they do a really good job with their presentation. Nice, solid presentation. Great atomizers. Straight to the point uh, with the labeling and the packaging and everything like that. Quick and timely shipping. Excellent customer service. When it comes to their variation of Baccarat Rouge, they give you everything that you're expecting from it. There's something in it that comes off a little bit more caramel than I remember the original smelling like, which I love. I know that in Bonfire Nights, I believe there's an added caramel note that is super pleasant, super, it just, it really balances out everything and it, it just it was something that complemented that fragrance extremely well and the same here i said i'm not sure if they added a caramel note to this one but to my nose it comes off kind of like that now i do have a little bit of chocolate greedy on on skin so that may be throwing things off a little bit from earlier let's pull up the notes and see what we got in the notes so the notes that they utilize for their variation is jasmine saffron Orange Blossom, Marigold, Cyclamen, Ambroxan, Ephronil, Cedarwood, as well as Ambergris. So I don't remember in the original them utilizing Ambroxan, Cedarwood, or Ambergris. I don't, I, there may have been an Oak Moss, but I'm not exactly sure. But I want to say Ephronil is like a synthetic variation of an Oak Moss. I don't remember Marigold, and there may have been like something orange-like in the description, but I don't know if they actually use orange blossom. So seeing this variation is really intriguing that they went this direction and they use these notes to come up with the exact same type of DNA and sort of uh, profile for that fragrance. You're getting everything you want from Baccarat Rouge, but you're getting that minus that uh, nose blind issue. I feel like this one, sticks around on you much longer is able to pull somebody else's nose much easier i love a fragrance that can utilize ambergris in a, in a good way this one the ambergris is a bit more toned down not as pretty not as perfumey but it is it's working everything that you want an ambergris element to be able to do in a fragrance is doing that but it doesn't come off the same so far as how you pick it up there's that woody almost powdery like a dusty is the best word like a woody dusty slight sweet it's everything is almost when it comes to baccarat rouge it's almost woody it's almost dusty it's almost powdery it's almost sweet it's it's has some musk in there it's almost floral it's so many almost components to this fragrance that I love it. I love how everything kind of does something and then just creates this one unison scent that does, you know, one a few things indefinitely. Very excellent and well-made fragrance as always. All of their variations are. The one that I've enjoyed and indulged in the most has been the Bonfire Night. I love the way that this smells. Absolutely love this. It's just so much fun, especially during these cooler climates. I can't wait to come home and put this on. You can pick this up on his website for about $54, $55. In comparison to the original price point, it's not too bad at all. Two ounce bottle, great presentation, great atomizer. And he's getting ready to upgrade his selection. I think he's dropping four or five new fragrances. Uh, so he's always upgrading the collection and looking to add something new to the collection, make it a bit more substantial and just give you a little bit more variety to choose from. And once again, this is his Baccarat Rouge variation, Scarlet Gamble. I'll drop the link in the description where you guys can check out this fragrance for yourself. Look around at the website and see if anything catches your attention. At the end of the video, I'll also show 
where you can check out some of my other videos pertaining to this house. Like I said, I got videos on Heartwood, Bonfire Nights, Valhalla, as well as Honeyfields. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon. Peace.